Welcome to the homework, second grade, module one. This is lesson four. Get your name on here first. Don't forget it. And we're, uh, we're bringing back making 10 to add, you might remember from first grade, there's the 8 plus 2 equals 10. So that 8 and this 2 is 10. And then we add in that 2 to the 10. This method works really well for people who know their ways, their partners to 10, the ways to make 10. As soon as you see that 8 here, let me clean that up. As soon as you see that 8 there, you should be looking for a way to find a 2 somewhere. And if you know your doubles, right here, two twos make 4. So it, it just comes up again and again that you're going to want to know your doubles and your ways to make 10. It's just They're just super useful to have. If you don't have your ways to make 10 yet, get some flashcards, practice them. You want to know them so well like you know your name. You don't have to count. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to remember it. You just know it. So that's what we're going to be practicing right now. There's your 10. 10 plus 2 is 12. 9 plus 7, we're looking at number 2 now. 9 needs a 1 to make 10. So 7 is a 1 and 6 more it takes to make 7. So there's our number bond for 7. There's our 10. And you can write it out. 10 plus 6 equals 16. And that shows your work there. That shows your method. Number three, nine plus three equals, and here we go, nine needs a one. So let's make a one, and three, we'll need a two and a one to make three. So there's the 10 we needed, and we have 10 and two, just like we had, just like we had here. 10 plus two. And here's our next one. We've got 8 again. 8 needs a 2. 8 needs a 2 to make 10. So we want a 2 out of this 6. And then it takes 2 and 4 more to make 6. So here's our 10 that we wanted. So there's the 10 plus this 4. 14. So, if you're not really good with your parts to 10 yet, you can still draw pictures. You could draw five group rows. I'll show you how to do it for this one. 7 plus 6. And we're still making 10s, but we're going to look at how to do it with a picture. So, 7 plus 6. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's our 7. And now we're going to add 6, right? So we have 1, 2, 3. All right, and there's our 10, 4, 5, 6, right? So we added 6 more x, we added 6 x's. So we've got a 10 and 3 more. That's 13. And you could do it like that. I'll do one more like that. Let's look at uh, 7 plus 8. So 7 plus 8. We'll start off with the 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And now we're going to add 8 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And it's 8 x's. So here we have a 10. And 5 more. This one's 15. 15. And I'm just going to go back to using making tens to add here. So we've got we did that 2, there's our 10, and 8 is 2 and 6, right? So now we have this 10 and that 6, it's 10, 6, 16. Uh, now we have an 8 and a 9, it's easier. Here, I like to split up the smaller number. 9 only needs one more. And 
7 and 1 makes 8. So the 9 and the 1, there's your 10. 10 plus 7 is 17. Now we're solving and matching. So let's solve first. These are all column A here. Column A here. These are all 10 pluses. So, for example, we've got 10 plus 2 is 12, right? So we're trying to make 13. We've got the 10. We need the 3. 10, 3. Let's say 10 way. Uh, 17 is 10, 7. 15 is 10, 5. And 14 is 10, 4. But here we have the 4 already, so we, what we need is we have the 10. We need the 10 because we have the 4. So 10 and 4. So we have those matched up. And now we figure out, we'll solve all of these here to figure out the totals, and then we can match them up. So solve first, then match. So 8, we're going to need the 1 and 7, right? So there's our 10. We're going to have 10 and 7. 10, 7 is 17, so these 17, so these are going to match. 9, 6, and that's 1 and 5, right? So this is going to be 10, 5. It's going to be 15. There's the 15s. 7 needs 3 more to be 10, so 6 is double 3s. And then that's going to be 10, 3. 13, and it matches with that 13. And I'm going to use the, I'm going to split up the 6, because I like to split up the smaller number. 8 and 2 makes 10. So we got 6, we need 4. I think you know, it might be easier than splitting up the 6. If we look at the 6, sometimes you just have a combination that's easier for you. And what I'm looking at is 6 needs 4. And that makes 4s for 8, right? Because it's 4 and 4 makes 8. So the, the easier part of the other number bond. 6 and 4 is 10. So that's 10, 4, that's 14. All right, they're all matched up. And, and uh, you don't have to use the number bond making 10 to do it. It's really set up that way with all these 10 pluses. It's really set up to do it that way. But you could draw, you could draw quick 10s, uh, or make 10s with, uh, with drawing pictures. Number 10, we have a word problem here. Ronnie uses five brown bricks and eight red bricks to build a fort. How many does he use in all? All right, so... This is a word problem. It's R. We read it. We just read it. I'm going to draw it, and we're going to write it. Write an equation and write our answer. Our answer is kind of set up for us already. Uh, so we're counting bricks, right? So we're going to draw a picture. We've got brown bricks and red bricks, and you could draw. You could do this with a labeled number bond, but I like. I really uh, highly recommend tape diagrams. So we've got brown bricks. These are the brown ones, B. And we know there's five of them, right? Five. And then we have some red bricks. They're going to be a little bit longer piece of tape because eight is bigger than five. So this is going to be eight. And these are red bricks. And what we're trying to find out is how much is it from this end of the tape all the way to this end of the tape? So it's the five and eight more gets you all the way from this end to the right end. So we start with the five, add eight more, and we're just going to try to find our total here. Uh, I could split up the 5 and try to make 10 with the 8, but I, you know, 5 and 5 make 10. That's really easy. So I'm going to break up the 8 
and then eight and eight needs five five needs three more to be eight so I'm going to use that those two fives right there so now I have ten and three thirteen Ronnie uses thirteen bricks that's RVW every word problem 